Hello everyone, Fan here from Son of Beast and welcome back to the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Right now, Son of Beast is at Minnesota to get ready for the night's coverage of the game of the NHL, the Stanley Cup Playoffs. This next matchup, as we're about to be seeing, is the Colorado Avalanche taking on against the Minnesota Wilds. Now for this game, it's about to be happening here in the Mountain West here of the Avalanche of Mile High. And Minnesota of St. Paul in the in the in the Minnesota Valley of the Wilds of the Wildwood. This time we're about to be seeing who's gonna win for this part of the first game. Here are the courtesy lineups. Right now, as we are taking a look at the Superstar X Factor players, let's start off with Mid Michigan off here, off to Colorado for the Avalanche. The first one part of the game, as we have the X Factor players, Nathan McKinnon. Has his ankle breaking for his high speed of this one to take over from around the defender. It's a hard one to try to maintain it from the goals and take it from around from the player of this game. He could try to keep it over, over range to go around the site and take the goal to take, put the puck back into the net. This will be a hard one to try to maintain its run, but hopefully on this occasion, we'll keep on going. On the next player, we have his Kale McCarr. His zone ability is picking up daily edges. In a direction change, he could try to fix it up with the grouping. Try to go with a different changes in direction. Looking over directly to the goaltender. And with that one, if he doesn't have that right ability enough, he could try to change it and go with a pass right to the different players. And for Miko Rantanen, he has a tape to tape feed. That's what's his in this vision. There's lots of hard ones to try to take over and bounding. Very tough one to be incredible to try to make that Ely pass clip in the vision. This was a great thing to have that one with the puck on the string and also with the tape to tape feeds. Very tough one to keep that going. Now let's have you look on the other side with the Wilds. Starting up, we only have one player to keep an eye on. Kirill Kaprasov. It has wheels that puts up with the puck. And this is what's going to happen with Kirill Kaprasov if he's ready for the second game in the second round. For the first game tonight, here are the NHL of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. And now it's time to get into the game. As the superstar players, Matt Zuccarell and Jared Spurgeon don't have the X-Factor players. They're only the superstars, and we'll try to figure out who will have the X-Factors of the game. Now, it's time to send you off, as Center Beast will be standing by, along with OJ and the Center Ice is Paintbrush. I'll be back with the post-game show. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your next game, folks. And I'll be seeing you all later. Greetings, everyone, and we are here at XL Energy Center. Hi, everybody. Son of Beast here, along with my broadcasting crews. This is NHL on the EA Sports of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Well, we are here, and we are ready for the first game tonight in Minnesota. About to get started. Hawk is dropped and we are underway. The cruising lineup is being here as followed. We have is Alexander Jorchev. He's the starting goaltender for the for the Colorado Avalanche. With the other two players in between, the inbound by McCarr. And it's McKinnon in the center. And across the mirror we have is Rantanen. And right for the other side we have is we have his Middleton with the puck. Oh a little bumble down. Now we have his Tuchuske. Kirill Kepersov is right towards the middle. Lakota right towards the outside, and from inside we have his across here. We have his kind of number one for Matt Zuccarello. Then it's Hartman with the puck. Scott save here by Alexander Gorchev. Zuccarello with the puck in right towards the behind the net. Then we have his Spurgeon, and back again is Kevin Who is the deflection stop made by Gorchev? And finally on the other hand we have is is Toes. And his starting goaltender we have is, is Gustafsson. Gustafsson was always that clear. To keep going with the bounding up there because Gustafsson was putting up a lot of great saves here. Back in the last game in game seven, they definitely did a wonderful job here putting up a wild win over the Winnipeg Jets. They took out the Canadian teams and they were all moving on to the second round of the game. But now, this USA matchup is all about keeping your eyes on pressure. This is the toughest one, it gets pretty tricky, but they will hopefully they'll keep it going. Here's Boldy. Stop made by Jorgen. 
Now we'll hold the puck here with under 1744 to go in the first period. Now we're back to the face off and now the puck is about to be dropped off. And here's Sturrod, he will have the puck. Streaking into the offense zone, right over to Ranton. Ranton in. Can't find anybody. Dumba has the puck back over to Boldy. Boldy right towards the offense zone, and it's Maroon back over again to Neto. Nito over to Gerard. Now swings to Copper. Puck settling it out for the zone on the outside. Eric's neck has the puck. Back to Boldy. Boldy slings it away. Here's Brian. Byron with the puck over again, and a penalty, penalty call. This will be called on Minnesota with a holding. Uh, not so good out there, because that gives up a good look. They got a good eye on it, and right now Feligno just got caught. Not a very good sign. Power play coming up here for Colorado Avalanche. Still scoreless in this game. They're looking for a way to get a goal for the power play. Right now, New Hook wins it. McKinnon and Rodriguez over to McCarr. Shot! And stopped by Gustafson with the save. Still only on with the puck here. And right now, they'll get another faceoff coming up. Well, players are set, ready to take an inbounding. Now with the win for Minnesota, and Broder will have it carried out along the way to the wall. Jorgate will try to give it off to McCarr. Ass pick up their way right towards, towards the neutral offense zone. Here's Comper on the attack. Gustafson with a big save. Comper stop again by Gustafson with two-time stop. Erickson Eck right towards the offense zone. We'll try to clear it out. Back towards the Colorado zone. McCarr over again, looking for his run. Gaining a streak right towards the offense to Copper. Rebound scores! New Books first goal puts up a 1 0 lead, and that's your power play for the Avalanche. This was that really that tough because New Books was putting an offense on the deep run. They're really saying that this keeps it up here with the offense run and go with the rebounding. Hit the pad and then get the goal in. That was an excellent start here for the Colorado Avalanche. They're picking up their good steam on the attackers. They just don't have a right to do it. But that just keeps on happening again and again. Here's the Corella back over to Hartman. And right now the Pekel delay penalty. That slashing is being called and Copper back to ranted in. Oh, that's not good because that wasn't really tough. It's an early start here for the Minnesota Wilds to try to try to slash on someone. And right now, Harbin's already in the penalty box. Not a good call right now. Foligno in the penalty box, and Hartman in the penalty box. Power play coming up for the second time for the Avalanche. Their score right now is 1-0 over Minnesota. Ranton right over to McKinnon, over to McCarr. Shot blocked. Valigno fires it away. Colorado back in the offense zone to pick up another run, still on the power play. Nichushkin right towards the wing. Pass to Likonen. Save me. All the way to the stop. And Nichushkin. Pass to Ranton. A lot of heavy battle, and Gustafson will try to hold the puck here. With that one being on the call, Ranton has a tape-to-tape -tape feed zone, and this one's a keeping to eye on the victim. He can find the open players in the passing and they're aggressive on his offense. This really keeps it going, and if this one is a hard one to try to maintain their way and put it right inbounding with an open pass. He'll be keeping an eye on the players if he has a power play advantage to keep it over. Back to you all. Matt Dumba got a little clear on that one to deflect it over. He was okay though. He's not in the penalty, but it looks like they have to keep that one going. He said medical attention. 
Now the power play still keeps continuing on as right now Foligno will have it covered. Gustafson holds the puck here with only 13-13 to go in the first period. Both players right now ready to take some hydration and ready for the faceoff. And with the win, here's Toes. That gets the fleck it off. And oh, Gustafson got a good piece of it. Tried to keep out of here and we got a good save. The bit of a wild run. Here's McKinnon as he puts a win back to McCarr. The Cody to McKinnon. Shot and deflect it too wide off loose. They will clear it out. McCarr's got it now, right towards the back of the net. The Cody finds Rantanen. Rantanen swings it and Spurgeon, Spurgeon takes it over. Fires it away. Looks like he's almost ready to go. McKinnon, and the power play is empty. As right now, only one power play goal for the Colorado Avs, and no power play being held for the Minnesota Wilds. Takes a chop off the broken stick play, and he'll have to replace the new one. Harbin towards the wing. Backhander, stopped by Jogan. 11.35 left to go in the first period, and it's still a 1-0 game. It looks like that Matt Dumba's not playing here for tonight. Unfortunately, he's out. All right, thanks for the update, OJ. Here's McCarr with the puck. Now he swings over back over to Kolegno. Kolegno got blow up, bammed up. Kaprizov right over again to Hartman. Addison has the puck here now into the offense zone. Unopened to find a man advantage. Eller in a wild attack. Coligno shot! Stopped by Gustafson with a huge save. Just down to, just down to like almost 11 minutes, near and closer to the mid period of the frame. It is still a 1 0 game of Colorado, up and one. Addison has the puck here right across in the corner of the wall. Coligno right over again. Finding room, Broden. Bad pass. Kaprizov right towards the middle. Minnesota Wild on the attack. Jorgen with the save and he'll hold the puck here. Give her a little whistle here, Mandy. Ready for the faceoff. Hartman's pass wins the faceoff. Sukarolo. Wow, the stick was flattened. And shot went too wide. Gotta slow down with that one. They really are saying that this is a wild run for Colorado and the wild defenseman attackers. They should not be handling it up like they did here before. It was very too close to call, they just couldn't get it. And he scores! Kirill Kaprizov got it around Jogan. Now they got it up with a one gun one and they're tied up. Minnesota wins the wild with a face-off win. Erickson Eck right towards the offense zone. Into the Colorado attack. One-timer. Stop again by Toes. Kirill, Kirill Kaprizov looks over to Nuga. Nuga finally going to lose puck. Keeps it out of the net. Erickson Eck will try to keep it over in the offense now in the Colorado territory. Shot goes too wide. Maljin right over into the wall. Newgook. Oh, bumble down. Newgook still covers it alive. Now Spurgeon has the puck over to Foligno. Foligno on the attack, run a two on one. Looks it over. Jurgen of with a big stop. 7 53 left to go in the first period. It's still a tie game. Now we have called this one. Kirill Kaprizov has a wheels to take over with the 101 attackers. He's very well. Since his last game turns out to be game four, he keeps it over. The offense puts it up and shuts him down. As a relief from McKinnon, he has put it up with an ankle-breaking move. He can find it our way to go into higher range and put up a higher skill in range. The higher players have been overall rated 
to be over with the player of your inbounding to pick up with the overall with the defensive ankle breaking and put it right around between his zones. He's quick and he could find another open manner to try to keep him out of here. These two are very aggressive right now as Kaprizov and McKinnon are the rough ones. I'll be watching in between the players and we'll find out who has an inbounding. Back to you guys. And right now, Pudo wins the faceoff. Middleton! Rebound! Stopped by Kirill. Jerry it to Byron. Byron over to McKinnon. 6.30 left to play in the first period of the game. It's still a tie game. Gerard back to McKinnon. Middleton takes it over to Sunbets. Minnesota on the attack. Shoots in the middle. And Jurgen will hold the puck here with only 6.02 to go. Still a tie game in this one. No goal change yet. Now they're ready to do this one again. You can feel the energy of the crowd. It's still a tie game. So really, and now it's Baru with the puck. By Ram over to Rantanen. Carries offside, has a stick up and an escape outside of the blue zone. Now he has it over again, and we are ready for the faceoff. Now it's a win. Here's Hunt back to Nito. Nito shot. Hits off the glove, and it goes right off to the goaltender, off towards the wall. Here's to Corello back the other way. He's ready for the attacking in the back to the blue line. Past the blue line. Reds it with the puck now, rolling into the offense zone. With the attacker, Nito, and good stop here. Nito still looking over. Finds Rantanen. Over to Johnson. Johnson back to Rantanen. Toward the back, Neto finds Copper. Shot. What a block here. And they put a diving releasement to keep it out of here. While the Wild put it up with a catching phrase, he just went down towards the body of the side. And what a great block. And looking past, the fucking Eddie scores. However, how that one deflected. And that really carries it out. And he had to lead up by one back after Hug with the pass. They are coming back now, back to the one point lead. It's a 2 1 game, Colorado. Keeping an eyes on this pride to pick up with a shocking win. Here's Proto with the puck now into the offense zone. And shoot scores! Proto has the puck. They're tied up again. Oh, keeping their eyes on the spread. They're just doing it and keeping it going. They're still on the attack. Proto still leaving it off like he never did it before. Well, he has now in the bounding. He's finding a room over Giorgio and just going right toward the offense zone. This is really got tough because everyone was really keeping an eyes on Steady. Motion is harmless. But don't get in mind of that one. They really are keeping it over because Broden was going right towards it. And their team is tied. Here's McCarr with the puck. Now over again to O'Connor. O'Connor on the attack. Left save by Gustafson. 2.35 left to play in the first period. We'll have to get a re to clear it out to get ready for the faceoff. Now they're ready for the faceoff attack. If you're looking to get tickets here, all the tickets for a new location is sold out. So there's only a few more left here in the Saving Media Center to get the to get your tickets now. And you still have time before one month away, and they'll all be gone. So make sure you get this one, your tickets now, get yours at the website of anatomyinsanity.com slash tickets and you can be the next one here. But if you can't make it to the game, we also have your live stream that will be happening here just right around the corner at the Sabian and Gerald W. Lynch Theater in between the two locations of the zone on, in June on 28th, 5th, and July of the 8th. Here's Toes with the puck. Racing over! Gustafsson with the save. The corner recovers it. Nearing a minute to play in the first period, still tied up, and Middleton has it across right over again to Sunvest. 
Sunbets trying to find an open man advantage. We'll try to clear the puck out of here. Colorado back over the to toes. Melgin over into the neutral space off zone. In the Minnesota territory, Gustafsson, good save, and Spurgeon will take it over to Sunbest. Fires it away right up to the glass. By Ram over to Rodriguez. Deep pass and will not take the shot from here. So that ends the first period. It is a tie game. Looks like they're looking for a leadoff to take it over. Minnesota Wilds and Avalanche. Be back after this. On now to the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Buck is dropped and we are underway. Right now the game has already been tied. Let's have your thoughts here for OJ for the daily recap of the each period. Well, it's very not to be honest of how well they were doing with the plays of this offense. They really are trying to like show them up. They were like putting a rebound in front of it. Like if it's trying to move forward in the backhand, I mean, this is a very uh, difficult situation to try to keep them over it. But not for a loss of you, they wanted to like keep that when you were in an offensive stride and try to like go for the attackers. They could be a very difficult one to try to keep them going. I'll have more on this one, and I'll try to find out what happens if there is something occurred. Right now here's Spurgeon with the puck. Now back to Hartman. Hartman with the puck, now in the middle, now racing towards the other side to Zuccarello. Skips away with him, and it stops the goaltender by Georgiev. Here's Bakar, passes over to McKinnon. McKinnon turns inside, Middleton takes the puck and over to Kaprizov. And the attacker, Kaprizov shot, stopped by Georgiev. He's going to hold the puck here with only 18-13 to go in the second period. Still a tie game. Now the both players are ready to be, be ready to take the faceoff in. It's still a tie game. Two and two is where we left off. Erickson Eck wins the faceoff. Hits it from the chest and it's up on the wall. Now we'll go again to Byram. Byram over it again to Nito. One and two attack, blocked away by Spurgeon. Boldy gets the puck now in the neutral zone, into the offense zone. Picking up the run, Boldy, shot, stop again by Jurgen. They're just going everywhere. The bad angle just goes right away. They might have to just try to change it up again. Here's Nito. Puck stopped by Coffer. Rebound stopped by Gustafson. Pogno. Couldn't find the puck around here, and now rebounding the puck into Gerard over again to Nito. Nito trying to keep it over again. Trying to go over for the attacker. Runs it in shot. Glove saved by Gustafsson. Gustafsson will try to hold the puck with only 16 12 to go in the second. Now they're ready to take the face off in the offense wing. Colorado wins the face off. Now finds Byron. Over to Nijushkin. Pass. Puck loses it out, and Guterer will take over to Nyquist. Minnesota on the attack. Pass shot! Stop by Jurgen! Hold the puck here with only under 60 minutes to go. Jurgen is one of the better players this game. Heron turning out to be one of the best goaltenders. After playing with the New York Rangers, he's now with the Colorado Avs. You're definitely telling out when Alexander Jurgen really wants to tell him out that he's never been playing with the Colorado Avs before. After Matt Cooper, he was left. And now with the Washington Capitals and Vanacek on the Capitals leaving and now with the New Jersey Devils, they really are changing up at the offense to pick up the run. All of that being said, it's just very that difficult. And everybody keeps it going with the puck pad changes and trying to go with the stop. Hopefully one of the defenders can try to keep up with going here. Hopefully Giorgio will try to stay in for the play 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 playoffs and maybe on that occasion, he'll try to have a bigger moment to keep on going. Right now, two players are set, ready to go for the faceoff. It's still a tie game. And it's Eller. Hunt dish off to, to O'Connor. The Avs make their way into the neutral zone of the offense zone. 
Ella moves to Colagno, and put back in, he scores! That's his first goal in the second round. Colagno has his first receiving in, in the playoff game in the second round. His total comes up with two. Well, it's excellent now. Colagno definitely really spotted it on. Very well done with the play, and I guess that really does say, how well do you have to play for? They're getting a lot of better at improving offense to pick up their strength. Jurgen will pull down with the puck here with only 14-18 to go in the second period. Now the officials are very ready to get set here on ice. They're about to drop the puck. Hartman will try to deliver the win. Middleton, shot, stopped by Jurgen. Now they will try again from the top here, as right now they're about to get ready for the faceoff. Hartman wins it. Spurgeon, Hartman, way too high, right towards the glass, and it's off on back on ice. O'Connor with the puck now into the offense zone. 13.45 left to remain in the second period. Move around the inside, stop by Gustafsson. Rosa Eller, shot, blocked away. O'Connor right over again to Hunt. Moves around the outside. Spurgeon's grabbed the puck here across the board. Couldn't keep the puck going. Back to Hunt. Moving it over from the inside. The late penalty called on Minnesota. That will get a slashing call. And so right now in Middleton, that's the second time in the penalty box. Not a very good one to take from here. You can't slash anybody down here, especially on your face. You don't want that to go right towards up at the nose. That will be painful. Colorado under the Avalanche power play. It's still a 3-2 lead as Colorado's up by front by one. Erickson Eck wins the faceoff. Klingberg will give it off to Erickson Eck. Erickson Eck. Trying to go for shorthanded. Shoots! Stopped by Georgiev and with a save back to McCarr. Conference got the puck here with only 12.30 to go. Bash is up for the wall. What a wild defensive takedown. That's the one what you kind of have to go for. What a making. Georgiev holds here with 12.15 remaining in the second period. It's still a 3 2 lead. As right now, these guys are already been having some shots here, even up. 26 shots on goal, it was a tough one to maintain it right away. Now Ranton has the puck here with the win over to Bacar. Here comes, here comes the Chuska with the shot, save me by Gustafsson. Carries out in the Avs territory. Door to back, McKinnon. Over to Lakonin. Over to Nichushka. Nichushka right inside, right toward the wing. Finds Lakonin. Rebound it. It's the goal post from a side angle. No power play goals made. It's just very not hard. Not everybody was confusing of what they were doing. That backhand was a tough and close call for the Wild fans to try to stay out. Looks like he's almost ready to go. In the offense zone, McCarr. Lagoda shot. We were in front, taking him out again with that broken way. Ranton up at the puck. Back to McCarr. Shot. Too wide. It's very not good because the Wilds are putting up a great defense. They're putting up a great run in the offense score. Ever since they were doing the playing in here for the regular season, they were off to a great start. And at that point, now they're ready to do it again to fight for another. Nichushka with the puck now has it over in the offensive territory. He shoots it, fires and save. Throw the corner, stop. Boldy trying to put a mess up here on Rantanen. Erickson Eck right over again to Boldy. Boldy gets smashed up. A little, little payback here for Nichushkin. Spurgeon in the inside. Pass to Boldy. Scores! They tie this game! They're making a comeback here to try to put up a 3-3 three three lead, and it's even up. Oh, what a making made. I just had to call you Matthew, Matthew Boldy. What a play by Spurgeon. 
Spurgeon's doing really well to keep the pass out of here, and so he do well as others. He's really putting up a great offense to pick up another drive out there and towards the net. And with that player inbounding, he did have a great advantage to put up an accuracy to maintain it from the goal tender and towards the player. He did find an open room, and he had it right towards the net. What a play for Spurgeon over to Boldy. I'll be watching him if he gets another goal. Back to you guys. Kucherov lost the puck here, and Gerard gives it over back again to Eller. Eller passing the uh, offense zone, pass to Kolodno, but saved by Gustafsson. Gustafsson will take the puck here and will hold it with 8-10 to go. Near you meet closer to the mark of this period, it's still a tie game. The back-to-back -back switch turns to be a leadoff change in between tying and leading. But it's only for the visiting team that did turn out over and under. Here's Byron. Colorado in the offensive zone. That shot goes too wide. Knife quest. It's not the puck. Now into the Ocap Avs territory. Gerard gives over to Maljin. Maljin over to Nuka. Gives a pass to Rodriguez. Rodriguez pass to Maljin. Blocked the shot and it's Knife Quest with the puck. Now back to Sundex. It's good to keep that offense out of here because that one, that's a great block to keep it out and try to put it around the net. They're very good defenders. They are just keeping it going. They got a great block shots. Nugo with the puck. Gurdura takes the puck over again. Now into the offensive territory. Nyquist. Puck lost it. Johnson has the back over to Nijuska. Now finds McKenna. McKenna towards the wing. McKenna can't have, able to hold on the puck. Klingberg over to Nyquist. Fires it around the net. Colorado picking up his own. Whoa! That was close call. He was almost got injured already. That close save in the game. Nutrishka glove save here by Gustafson. You hold the puck here with 527 round left to remain in the second period. Erickson Eck wins the face off and now Addison has the puck. Now here's Foligno. Foligno trying to recover it again. McKinnon! Stop here by Gustafson! Trying to save it in bounding. We're down to five minutes left to go in the second period. Now they're ready to do this one again. It's still a tie game. They gotta find out if they can get a lead up by one. Colorado wins the faceoff. Cogno over to Eller. Swings back to Toes. Toes moves it around inside. Backhand stop and blocked. Gustafson, wow, what a close save here. He's putting up a mound out there. A lot of apps are trying to put a puck inbound and trying to get the goal in the net. This is close, guys. They're really not tough. Erickson Eck wins the number faceoff. Addison at the board. Two guys are on the board. Klingberg's got it now, right towards the offense zone. Passing the neutral zone, passing the blue line. He goes down. Eller has a buck away. Taking it over, two on one. Puck movement, unable to make that one clear. Coligno, trying to battle it out again. Wilds are trying to like answer back right away. McCarr! Wow, that was too hard. It was up to the goaltender. Bumped over. Boldy's got the puck here, right to feed. 15 to go. Close save! Jurgenov's gonna hold it with only 3.09 to go in the second period. It's still a tie game. Very close call. You're definitely gonna have to get some answers back here. Because if the goaltender is right up, right in front of you, and you're going to try to make, go around him, he's going to get a quick vision, and you're going to have a hard time to get through it. Middleton, stop by Georgiev. Colorado wins the faceoff, and Makar will take it over. Under three minutes, ranted in. Towards the slot. 
He finds Hartman with the stop. Back to Spurgeon. Spurgeon trying to look over the offense to Kaprizov. Puck leaves his own. Kaprizov right into the center of the neutral offense zone. Rebounding it. Stop away by nearby Georgiev. They're going over to Comfer. Swing it over to Johnson. Johnson to Rantanen. Rantanen still looking for an offense to pick up the run. Middleton back over again to Kaprizov. Kaprizov bumped up. Johnson has the puck here returning it back again over to Copper. Copper leaves the zone back to Spurgeon. Nyquist with the puck can't able to find a man's open teammate. Copper pass to Rantanen that went too wide. Nyquist with the puck pass to Spurgeon. Down to a minute of play in the second period. They're still all warmed up and being on an even run. Kuduro shot way off the mark. Not able to pick up a rebound, and they just gotta go find somebody else. They don't want anybody to get close to them. That's the part where they're gonna keep on shooting it. Colorado in the offense zone. McKinnon shot. That's blocked off. Nyquist with the puck. Leads it over to Gudera. Fire around the net. Hunt. In the neutral zone to Gerard. Fires it out. And that will end the second period. Two guys are the neck-to-neck -neck battles. It's a three-on-three -three for Wild and Avalanche. The lead will be picking up next after this. Hey everyone, Paintbrush here. And it's just a quick remind, uh, for announcement to everyone before we head down to the final period of the game. Right now, it's your time to shine. To figure out who's the next team going to find out with the next matchup for a different opponent team here for next season in NHL 24. Well, there is one way that you can get your answers here. You can now get your votes here and then casting your votes here to find out with a suggestion for the NHL 24 in season number three. That's right, because we are putting up another huge run to try to like to help you guys, all you all viewers, you will have to make a selection here on which team you want to see the next play next season. This is the next opponent team that will be playing here for the next regular season. And because of the postseason, it may not be the same thing just like the regular season does. But however, there's sometimes another way for the last couple seasons, from the beginning to this season, and for the next C part of the season, it will be a little different here to go back home where they came from. And this is stuff that everyone really knows to keep your eyes on. Plus, the new episode of The Deals is back. We've got another one to try to keep you for the deck. Starting on May 25th, it will be a new one to try to find out what will the next one be. So this is it, guys. When we get to the new episode of The Deals, we will be sharing you of how well we did. This might be a new contest here before we get the final four. <laughs> yeah, definitely that fa famous. Everybody's really loving it. And because of that one, you're know, really ready for anything. With that one being said, like I just said here before, you can cast your uh, selections by making a suggestion for a new season of the NHL 24 of which team you want to see them playing next. It doesn't have to be the same team like this one. But it might be different teams like to play for. Not in the Stanley Cup playoffs, but the regular season, it's just the only way it gets. There are no same teams to play against the different opponent teams. That will not count. Make your selections now for next season. And now back to Center Beast. See you all for the final game of the period. Are you ready for the third period? It's time to drop in and be on the ready. Let me hear you roar and let the abs take on. It's time for the third period. Stop by Gustafson. Rebounding and saves are turning out to be one of the bestest. As we send you to OJ, this was a tough match. How did it really turn out to have a strong communication here? Well, it may have been a very rough night, but I have to tell you now, the Avalanche has been one of the best teams in the first seed since they made it all the way down to the Stanley Cup Finals and be as the champions. 
But the Wilds on the offense are very good at picking up the right moment. They're not really well to try to keep them out of here and then go with another loose chain. They're really that tough, but not to go anywhere out. They really are starting to go a lot of attentional work, but they keep on going. Very tough to be on a look of the outside of it, run because if you do have the one of the players on the inside of the offense, they can get that one here caught right away. Passing over again, bounced away. Spurgeon's got the puck here right across the neutral zone, the offense zone. Here's Luchushka with the puck. Right around the goaltender, what a stop by Gustafson. He's going to hold it with only 18.06 to go in the third period. Back with you again here for the NBA playoffs. We've got the next game here happening here on Thursday. That will be another one to take over from here as I know game two will be the next one to take over here before we get back into hockey. And then... Stick around there as right now, Wednesday will be the next uh, game that happens here with the Cavaliers and the Bucks. That will be the next game on its way for a rematch in game number two. Especially on Friday, also a rematch. Now we're turning it over to be another big game of the night. It will be Clippers and Nuggets. Back in Ball Arena in Mile High. That will be the next one. To bring it on for another part of the game. Oh, big save here. Now he's Nito. Back to Byron. Byron with the puck back to Rantanen. That shot went too wide. Rantanen to Copper. Shot stopped me by the pad. Middleton over to get the Boldy. Minnesota onto the offensive zone to pick up the attack. Follett though in the corner. Finding Boldy, found he goes, and stopped by Georgiev. Duran recovering the puck here from the offense zone, now in the neutral zone. Nito with the puck. Trying to swing it off for here by Byron. Byron lost it, and he got a delay penalty on Minnesota. The number slashing call, and they are in trouble. Not so good out there. They don't want to mess that up, because they're off to a bad start here in the third period. This is definitely not that good for everybody else who's keeping an eye on them. And there is the penalty. And this one's called a slashing. That will be on Sandquist. He's in the penalty box. Four times in a row for the penalty for Minnesota. They never got a power play goals. They never really wanted to go up for the power play. They are in trouble now. Avalanche has their fifth time in a row here for the Avalanche power play. And now with only 15-22 seconds, it's still a tie game. Here's Broden. He flakes it up and now towards the back. Here's Durad with the puck, now passes to Comfer. Comfer's got the puck here in the offense zone. Trying to make the arc to Nugluck. And around the man he goes and Nugluck back again to Toes. Toes shot blocked away. Addison flares it out. The Avs now making their way with the offense run to make new changes. Here's Gerard with the puck. In the offense zone, here's Newbook right up in the net and out of play. Both play players have said they're about to drop the puck. New York wins the faceoff. Toe shot stopped made by Gustafson. Clears it out. 44 seconds left to play for the power play of the Avs. New York back to Robert Goose. 2 on 1 opportunity. Look around the net. Spurgeon attacking on Robert Goose. What a takeaway. Gerard back to Copper. Trying to find an open offense. Oh, and they put it in! That's a defensive mistake, and this one goes over the Copper school in the power play. I have no clever concerns of what's going on. I think that JT Copper got it in there. Well, I got a good replay of this one. It looks like a defender made a mistake. That is not that good. That's not how we play here on, on defense because. That was blocked up. 
We can't have the man here on defenders. We can't stop them, and we got to find another way. You have to keep them up, the team. You don't want that one to get right into the net. This is what we do. Keep your hands on you. Stay alive. Don't leave behind. I'll be watching on them to keep up with the goals. Back to you guys. Here's Middleton with the puck with only 12.25 remaining in the third period. A shocking moment here for the first game as right now Colorado Avs are up by one. Sunwest finds over to Nyquist. Nyquist lost the puck. Toes will carry over. Passes to McKinnon. McKinnon making his way down. Locked away. Middleton over again to Gudura. Kuduru up and over right towards the wall to Nyquist. Zuccarello with the puck. Minnesota in the wing. Zuccarello keeps it over. In the middle! And it's taken away by Toes. The corner over in the offense zone. Goes to Addison. Addison moving around again. Finds Broden. Broden up to the wing. The corner. For the near side! Stop again by Gustafson with a huge save. Fire him. Over to McKinnon. Glove save. One time shot. It's been ticked off. And now the and now the faceoff's coming up for two teams. Now they will be ready to do another faceoff. The score for the Avalanche is up by one. Four and three, we left off. Here's Broden. Over in a slot. Move to Hartman. Back to Kaprizov. Now into the offense zone. Kaprizov, it's hit off the skater. Zuccarello trying to fight back, but Nichushkin keeps it off. Now here's Nichushkin. Bubbled up, stopped by Gustafsson. Now both teams are into the offense zone to pick up the run. Colorado up by one with the 4-3 lead, trying to keep it out of here for Minnesota. Eller wins the faceoff. Hunt fires! Broken up the stick here, and he'll have to replace a new one. It's easy to say, that puck was zipping across here for the stick, and broke it up. He's going to have to pay another one, as most uh, managers are going to have to keep on bringing new sticks here on ice to, get, to bring in for the game. It's Boldy, but the puck now finds Eric's neck. Eric's neck. Johnson has the puck here now into the offense zone to pick up the run. Colorado in the wild territory. Finds Colando, but save me! What a stop by Gustafson. It's really not calling for the high stick on here for the offense to keep up with the glove save. They really are catching one to be a big wall motion here. They're really that tough. What a play for the goaltender. Minnesota wins the faceoff. Kicking the puck out of here. Eller with the puck now finds Colando. What a stop by here. On the outside, firing around the net. Broden with the puck. The Wilds regaining their offense here back into their territory. And O'Connor takes it away. Looks a pass to Hunt. Hunt around in the middle. Good save by the goaltender. Malgin. Bubbled up. Erickson back to Spurgeon. To Reeves. Reeves all alone. One on one attack. Stop by Gort Georgiev. Under seven minutes to play in the third period, getting there near closer to the end of the goal strength. Enemy of regulation may not be that easy. But it's now coming in towards the lot, down to under seven minutes to go. Now here's Rodriguez. Rodriguez keeps it over. Spurgeon, a little bumbled up here in the corner. Shaw, now into the wing on the offside. Onside. Rodriguez takes it over with the puck. Gives off to Newhook. Gives off to Melchick. Malgin trying to look for open space, but finding an open room for playing the puck. Fumbled up. Rodriguez to Nito. 
Spurgeon's got the puck here. DeWar up against the Shaw. 5.30 left to play in the third period. Looking over, Shaw. Pass to Zuccarello. That blocked it up here by Gerard. Reaching down to five minutes to play in the third. Zuccarello cannot find an open man. What a save here by Georgiev. And tries to keep it out of the net. Very well done for the two Georgiev. They're really doing really well. With the answer of the call, Kirill Kaprizov. As now, paint press stands by. Kirill Kaprizov, really well done with the fast wheels in his offense. He's making up a good moment. It's a hard on attack to try to keep him alive, but no worries. He will try to see if he can try to manage it to do this one and again and again. This is what everyone really knows. Kirill Kaprizov keeps on going. Here's Hartman towards the wing. Pass to Kaprizov. It's on a slot. McCarr deflects it away. Colorado into the offense zone. Kicked it away, but the pad save. Hartman trying to stop him. Addison with the puck. The Conan shot. Going in. Stopped by Gustafson. Hartman kicks it out. Over to Klingberg. Klingberg to Kaprizov. Finds Zuccarello. Zuccarello in the wing. Gets broken up, and Laconin has it over to McKinnon. McKinnon swings to Nachushkin. Nachushkin trying to look for an open man. Klingberg right towards the wing. Kicks the puck. Nachushkin. It's on his own. Save me again by the goaltender. McKinnon way too out of the mark. Recovering up is McCarr. McKinnon. In a slot. And he says no. 2.13 left to go in the third period. A 4-3 lead still remains steady. Coming up will be the next game for tomorrow. As right now, it will be happening here for the next part of the game. Here at 3 p.m. That will be the New York Rangers and the Carolina Canes battling for the rematch since last postseason of the game. And with later game, we have the Oilers at home playing against the Seattle Kraken at Rogers Place. Now it's time to see who we got for the next part of the matchup. We've seen this one coming straight towards it as the Canes already beat against the Rangers in a couple games, but the Rangers are coming back and they won in game seven, last postseason of the game. Yeah, they're very really not good. I have to say right now, New York Rangers is one of the best teams here that definitely did play against the Carolina Hurricanes in the run. They're very done well to keep the offense rolling, but as long as you say right now, they really are a good team to keep it over and under. Both players are ready to to take the face off. Still 4-3 in the game. We're down to a third period to close it off the first game. Here's Toes with the puck. In the middle slot that went off wide. O'Connor with the puck. Guda is still fighting for it. And now we're down to the last minute. The man advantage is about to bring on Gustafson in, into the bench. Knife grass lost the puck. And the goaltender is about to sit out. They're bringing another man advantage on. Minnesota is still out in a trouble situation. Here's Sundbest. Caprizov shot. Stopped by Georgiev. Knife quest rebounds to Kudera. Shot. Stopped by Georgiev for the save. And McCarr is going to have to swing it by. Over and under. Shot. And he makes a goal. That's your heat seeker to end the game in the first game in the second round. And that is where McCarr finishes it. Well played for McCarr. A heat seeker is what they are saying here after he delivered the fire to Cannon right towards the net. And that's what definitely did happen. They're just going to say, we are moving on to game number two because this is what we always do never quit never give up here's Zuccarello with the puck another man advantage but the time is winding down and it's blocked Toes carries it here and Toes swing off to Lacarnet and Echushkin and that's the end of the game the Avalanche pick up a winning game here with the feet of the Minnesota Wilds in the first game 
And Georgia did a really good job here to put up a well run to make the game count in for as a win. Yeah, very well seen here. The Avalanche will have a better play with it and try to keep him over next time in the next game, in game number two, and it will be hard enough to keep it over. Well, with Sun Beast along with OJ and Paintbrush, this has been a presentation of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Now time for a fan for the postgame show. Have a great evening, everyone. All right, thank you very much, Sun Beast. Five and three is your final score. Avalanche beat the Wilds in the first game, and now it's time for your three-star players of the game. Let's have your first star take. The third star goes over to Colin Addison. Two assists and two hits. Second star was Lars Eller. A goal and assist. That was all that did happen. With that deflection in there, it just went bumbling out and didn't have the right moment to take over. And your first star player of the game goes to Philip Gustafson. 57 saves of the game. And with your total combination here for the statistic run, 62 for Colorado, 41 for Minnesota, 19 hits for Minnesota and 14 for Colorado. 7.55 and 4.17 time on attacks. 94 percentage for Colorado and 83 for Minnesota. 30 for faceoff win for Colorado and 83 for Minnesota. Then it was 8 minutes here for the penalty kill for Minnesota. Only 2 power play goals were made. And 7.03 was their power play minute for the Colorado Avalanche. Well, disappointing run for getting a penalty kill. But they say they were undefeated, they were clean. Better than Minnesota with a dirty, nasty play on defense. They are not really well to be out here at the start of the first game. So that is it for the first game of the second round for the Avs and Minnesota. Thanks for watching. And for tomorrow's games, you will stay tuned for, as right now we have the Rangers and the Hurricanes at PNC Arena. And finally, we have is the Kraken and the other side, it's all calls for. This is where we turn on LA Kings. Thanks for joining with us. Peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs in the A Sports style. Good night in Minnesota. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.